Hello, boys and girls. We have come back again. Now, today we're going to learn the language, the real language of English. When you hear simple tense, big, sartom, diptazokha, tuna zirdora, the chilakhan, verbs, they translate our verbs, ka poimo emendoni. The verbs is going to be a vital, is going to play a very vital role in understanding the tense. Verb ka apoy mo hen dora tense shetu urzuan. Le dura kan mo hen topic ah hen tense and ya abi takin simple tense bi ko ka. When we say simple tense, it includes simple present tense, simple past tense. And simple future terms. Okay, starting with simple present tense. If we remember the verb, verb kakalasharanitun, verb describes, verbs tell us three things. One, action, two, state of being, and three, position. Kami nak share dengan contoh verb kan, til di sini atau saya lupa, til patung verb kan saya itu tu, pakat na til di, panina ni na dimbol saya itu, ani bokong na patung na asal ni saya itu, ani bok doan. Kaka share dengan dia lah kan, kan, kan hok kan, simple present tense. Abi tak kira, then what we have to know in order to understand the tense. We need to know the verb, the formation of the verb. In an English word, in an English word, the verb, especially the verb, has three forms. They are called in two ways: one, present, past, and past participle. On the other hand, it is also said to be first form of the verb, second form of the verb, and third form of the verb. So we need to understand that. Okay. Simple present tense shed words one verb to two in siapa kan shed tangani example verb to two kan formation kan kan shed tangani for example fly flew flown kan shed tangani example break broke broken or play played Play, etc. Okay. Why is it important? Here, you think a poem. Poem one is simple present tense. Try to watch what he and who he can share the poem with Danny. Okay. I'm going to write a sentence. Sentence can see it. Come on. So the terms one simple present tense. Come on, come on. Can formula can see and so on. Then simple present tense. When is it this simple present tense used in English? English I can simple present tense in the Korean one. Okay. Generally, simple present tense is used in a habitual actions, uh, feelings, or to express general truths. I hope you remember. Simple present tense one hun hitu atlang kuin habitual actions ni tina kan ti chin so ina nama an ilo le kan feelings kan sung rila kan til vizong temo feelings so itu nante an ilo le general truth atlang kuya tu di kum sa so ina nama mana ni tanya simple present tense tu tu share ila they cannot, for example, simple present tense to habitual actions. They don't tell you, David, David wakes up at six, at six every day. He brushes. His teeth. His 
Ten. Okay. He takes his breakfast. He dresses up for school. Okay. Hey, send us a can to one David to some sound need in our attitude. So in our so we say now to one simple present tense. Mahani. A verb can end to one David wakes a wake see verb money. Wakes up at six need in Darba Toche. So we know he brushes a hard more tree. A verb line can end up. Look at the verb here. So I'm a breakfast too. Hey, die here. So is up. I didn't see it. Dresses. You look at all the verbs here used here. It uses the verb, the first form of the verb, as we have already written before. So now the car a markers machina can see. Verb can form but too many. Wake, walk, walk, and dial up. Stand, stood, stood. Hey, hold since you have hey. Got it. So if you look here, it uses the first form of the This is called the first form of the verb. And this one is second form, a second form of the verb, and this one third form. Here you can end one, first form of the verb, second form, third form. Money. I talk, I mean, wait, walk, walk, in. how can end one? It's one. We can make a formula now. Formula can see how she's thinking. They cannot put a sentence, how can see how she's The sentence is not. David plays plays football. David plays football. And that's one. So simple present tense goes like this. Subject. Verb is used, the first form of the verb is used there, and we can see the S there. Why is there an S? Okay, so this is how the simple present tense go. Now, for example, we are going to talk about simple present tense more in detail. Uh, simple present tense, you can treat here as well. Chicken so you can treat now detail again. Subject to again, what is the subject of sentence? Subject of the sentence to action, the two. Uh, car sentence in a asoi. Chung chang gara ka ka subject to nita. Sentence verb and car subject and nita gani. All the sentence, most of the sentence have subject. So let's talk about the different kinds of sentences. For an example, We'll see the different kinds of sentence. Affirmative sentence. Affirmative sentence. I, I go to school. In a simple way. Now here you see the subject here, I, since being a first form, it uses the first form of the verb without S. So let's remember, if the subject is first form of the verb or the second form, second person, if the subject is the first person or the second person, then you, you have to use the first form of the verb without S. But also to subject cover and then a first person, I, the second person, you, and you write again, a verb can estelle to run. I go, you go, and it will run. 
the term kaka affirmative or nita as subject you can end so let's uh, write a different subject again giving a different subject you and it's one if it is you because this is second second person you go to school you look at the difference here but if you change the subject he then go changes to goes to school or if you keep on changing the subject then then it still go now these are the affirmative sentence it tells us about the fact of the the subject in answer he he affirmative sentence kan ti ho thu pa ngai ho anita a subject a term kind of verb ka any adam lam na kan answer i at so go ani i to first person ani wa you ani pon go ani tho wa amara to she alone he can go so no no tani so ti ensel he ka third person ama pakhat singular so ina ani ta ka wa kan singular third person singular and the variant can a verb can is basic along with any to to simple present tense and it can be very much the so a subject key that earlier so third person and the other say that it's one day at the year but how many and how many so I'm so it's come out of a go can be to run it to so affirmative sentence along with any can share to him now this one he or I here can share to you can confuse you into it he can come along with she po alone it hai ani lo le min po khan alone it hai david alone it hai ani lo le mary po ni thai mary goes david goes pakha subject ka third person pakha ani chu chu goes ani do ni to the example a subject ka ain thak thai ain thak ang zero ka he like pro pakha she print to ready Okay, this is affirmative sentence, okay? For an example, I write this one. Both these sentences are uh, affirmative sentence. And but you have affirmative two part my my any like number two are negative sentence. Negative sentence. What does it mean negative sentence? When we say negative sentence, it means when there is not in the sentence. So those kind of sentence when there is not is added there in the sentence. It is said to be in a negative sentence. Okay. For example, here suppose that we change these two sentence in the affirmative sentence, we change them into a negative we have to remember i since there is no uh, auxiliary verb in the sentence we have to add in order to use not we need to add one auxiliary verb so that auxiliary verb will be do not i do not go to school Let can share them to you. Affirmative sentence are I go to school. Can you hear? Can you go to school? Can you go? Can you hear? Can you go to school? 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 Can you hear? Can you go to do em all does em all can hold the line and not can tell don't one so the answer hey at the end here all right i to first person on your value do can come up not can tell don't my i do not and then to the answer and the subject can if the subject changes suppose that he or she then how would we do it to get the a subject can he or she will not talk to us to the next one first person i le you are to do a homa na third person singular le plural ti ka can do all me ngai ta 
Tutu, he amo, she amo nichuan, does not go to school. Her uh, goes for car, does kanpan to vangi, go up, sandoremi. Since it is used does here, it already qualifies the, the subject. So here it, it is not required, not necessary to put the ES here. Okay, so this is what we call negative sentence in a simple present tense. Now, in the third sentence, negative sentence, after negative sentence, we have this interrogative sentence. Now you look at this interrogative sentence. Interrogative sentence. So again, okay, what is the meaning of interrogative sentence? The meaning of interrogative sentence a question. It is a sentence, but it is a question. Question ani zona sentence ani ya thu ni ya zona ni. Chu ti ya thu chu interrogative sentence anti ni. Chu chu he thu he suppose this. Affirmative sentence, the two sentences we wrote here, we write here, uh, let's change it into interrogative. The same applies here. In order to make a question, we need to use the two words like do or does. Questions here, last one. Heka negative sentence are kan mu ang kyan not kan bel do na do emo da samo kan mana ki question si am nan mana lo ngai ta ni so so simple present tense are here to run it simple present tense are so do emo does ka negative sentence si am nan te interrogative sentence si am nan te negative interrogative sentence si am nan te kan mana ni so so to na let's see how do we make suppose that we have here I go to school. We change this one in this sentence to interrogative sentence. Now, since the subject is I, we use do. Do I go to school? Okay, so here. Now, you look at this sentence here. Here, the subject is he or she. So, the question, since the subject is he or she, it needs to use this does. Does she or does she go to school? And do remember, here in a go, you don't require to put this S anymore, since we have used does. Does can one to one, amma a go a goes can tia ka pana tool to the money. Tia ka share ila. Okay, going to the next one, the four, negative, interrogative. Now, negative interrogative sentence. Now, here, what does this negative interrogative sentence mean? Again, negative interrogative sentence of here too. Misal to my gun let's one affirmative sentence so to plum plum pong. I need car to plum plum pong. I can't take in a school cacao. Negative sentence one cacao low. Zona as one cacao empty. Negative sentence of interrogative, negative interrogative for needs one. Kakal loven ni. Kakal em ni. Kachu negative interrogative so ni. Kakal low. Kakal ngay ta ni negative. Ani start of ni low. Kakal ngay ya. Chusu. Suppose how do we change this? I go to school to negative interrogative. So the same way, the same case apply here. Do I but not go to school? Hemi om chusu. School kakal loven ni tina lo ni kat. In the same way, does he or she not go to school? So you look here. Not kan tel na teka ino la subject zo zela kan not aron omani ika since yet ureni. Apoy mo the right to do let does kan hunta na ka kan chia na ngaya. A subject as your can do let does come on to run it. 
question can see and don't come a subject can we need to look at the subject in order to use correctly the use of do and does we first have to see the subject of the sentence okay so these are the simple tense especially the simple present tense now we'll go to the next one okay here simple present tense then the whole plan we can say here it are that I subject to show us how one has subject a third person singular linear plural linear the car will have to always be conscious can feel through a conscious and alive subject ka can and full of my which are a tense ka grammatical tense ka can to the donny the car so you need okay uh to that one next i can call on simple past tense and so the one simple past tense I'm going to the next one simple past tense here uh revising the the first one uh, comparing the first one let's try like this i go to school in a simple present tense now we are going to learn simple past tense so let's see the difference here simple past tense and zero dona simple present tense then adang la maha kan fear to lo na to read compare ta la i go to school and it's a simple past tense one i went to school hello me my time can it one simple present as one subject a formula of formula for class first form of the verb as coming up this is the first form now you look here in the simple past tense simple past tense are waiting that as one subject class what is this second form of the verb go go second form can can come to my right hand simple past tense as one kaha so we'll write the formula here simple uh, simple past tense formula has to be subject plus second form of the verb so all the sentence whatever sentence you see in english written in english if you if you can identify the subject and immediately after the subject if the verb is used the second form of the verb is used then that sentence is said to be in a simple past tense english in zero verb and ka kan shi tem te na english sa tu in zero ka kan na na ta kan subject kan shi te ya subject zo ve le ya a verb ka a second form in mani chuan ka sentence a ka simple past tense a in han a di na alo le dor ni this one has simple past tense Let's talk about the simple past tense when it is used. In the case simple past tense too. Simple past tense is used uh, to talk about an action which is uh, completed in the past or about a past habit. Past habit. Say na hun kau to ti chin te. Say na amo. Ani lo le, hun kau to say na madali zau chong ta kin. Ka the action could take place in a moment in the past. In the moment, hun relo desu hun kau to ka ani mei tia, or it may have happened over a short period in the past. Hun toi tia ka hun kau to ka a. Ka action ka ti alone itri bo. Chu tien sui na chu an pan an chu te kina tu kin zin chu hun kao to alone ito ni. This morning was the past. So we when we talk about the action of this morning, we require to use the simple past tense. 
to kin sing til chaim te ka se do son hun ka to alomita short period hun te polomita se hun to te til chaim te mo a nita se khatiya po khan simple past tense hun to re to kin singa bazaar ka kal so ka tin pon this morning i went to the market the in a simple past tense so me to re okay so let's get into detail at the table again at consolidate there na china for example i gave you in a simple present tense all the the four kinds of sentences it has in a simple present in the same way in a simple past tense also we are going to talk about the four kinds of sentences it has okay now a affirmative sentence again Unlike, unlike simple present tense, as we see the formula here, subject plus second form. Now, the same sentence. Let's use the same same sentence. Okay. Suppose that we use Mary. Mary goes to school. And we also use the subject you. <coughs> you go to school. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Mary went to school. And you went to school. Hemi sentence pa ni hi tu tong tuang tam pa mai pa sa hun gal to a til sen se na ni tai. Tu ki la America school la gal ta hun gal to ni Mary went to school. You went to school. Tu pa mai so it's affirmative now in order to change this affirmative into negative sentence here to hear negative sentence a kallo hun ko to akana kallo din to kira mary akallo din school for example you want to say that mary did not go did not go to school so here mary we need to use did since it is past you remember in a simple present tense we use do or does but here in a simple past tense simple past tense we we need to use this did mary did not go and this way comes back to change back to go ka kan mu a simple present at one do am or does am or not can come don't so on or can come any but say simple past tense alone in that that's what do am or does am or I can did can come to any not can come don't so on did not it's on hell I went to car went to car when it all of him go I don't even talk about any nothing here got this on why is it because here that I have a qualified only do did done and you can did car can come to any kakani simple past tense ani na a second form of the verb ani na ka ta ron qualify to a a verb da ma ka chu a first form a ron le ma nai to ni ka kan fiel a ai ni mary did not go to school you did not go to school okay in the next sentence interrogative interrogative as we know it is a question interrogative so in more country than in zona ani zona can see me don't so in order to make a question out of this affirmative sentence we have to think it again uh how do we begin the question in a simple past tense we have to begin with one word that is did always did did mary go to school the same way did you go to school and when to the fourth one that is negative interrogative alina 
negative ni lo te bo zona ni bo ka ani lo wen ni ti bi zo tong so ni ta se so here did mary not go to school did you not go to school okay let's compare with the simple present tense once again so that we uh, we may be able to differentiate the differences simple present tense ne khan adama na ka han elle taya simple present tense as one mary goes base simple past as one mary went to the book in negative sentence can see khan simple present as one mary does not go to school base simple past as one mary did not go to school interrogative form simple present tense as one does mary go to school simple past as one did mary go to school negative interrogative form does mary not go to school do you not go to school simple present tense so to simple past as one did 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 vekha along with tani do than to wrong so simple present tense are kachu do em or does some as subject as you can mana gaya simple past as one did ka in subject body so la did so ka man me to rani okay when we are all clear we'll sum up all the three tenses again at the end atopa can compare sin do rani okay next we have this simple future tense simple future tense so we have the subject plus will or shall plus first form of the verb so what does this mean if a sentence if the sentence of the subject is i it means i should use according to the grammar rules i shall go to school or we shall go to school if you notice this two subject i and we in the in the subject i and we shall is used and the rest of the subject like you or she or maybe she like and then a simple future concerns one he a formula lo ni ni subject plus will shall plus first form the verb lo ni ya ta chu shall will shall a ya do ta tu a subject ka i le we be ka ya shall he man be ni about some subject and subject on the rose i we ti lo a chu will that come on my to ready so so in kima ani ve khelo ne ti ero chu kan shi ato cha okay the is simple future tense go on to so ani ta ni so so affirmative sentence ka negative sentence si anda the simple future tense as well affirmative sentence to to na a formula called a affirmative sentence to the mayor for example um, i shall do my homework okay or she will do her homework it's a affirmative for the mayor this is just an affirmative tone combining so when you want to change it to negative that will be negative only law the whole more katilo and katilo one you don't are so i shall not do my homework so this kind of sentence when there is not not at the lot low but you don't know and see not at the long running katilo choose negative sentence 
or she will not do her homework. So this kind of sentences are called negative sentence. Then going to net interrogative. Interrogative to Zorra Nigan Pitoka, Zorra Nasirgoi, simple future at work. Subject to Ahya, auxiliary verb in Hans, in Hansa, in Hantan Kai Meturani. Then Kanua, not Kanvel, or he auxiliary verb, so Zela, and in fact, Maya, not. So, the question can see on Donan, it's one, Zorra can see on Donan, it's one, Henry Pandi Kai and Chan Turani. So, you look at the subject, I, if this subject is I, then shall, shall I do my homework? Then I like, a subject I, and here to tell you, I, as well, shall, a rule is not going to be done, I, the subject I, we, and you can't shall, not to do it, yeah. So I can, I can, subject and it's done, shall I do my homework? So I get, I have subject is she, and it's well, Will she? And if I like that, you know, will she do her homework? And then the last one, negative interrogative. Negative interrogative. Mm. Will, shall I not? Do, do, do my homework, or will she not do her homework? Okay, so these are the different kinds of sentences in simple future tense. Hey, so also here, next one, hey, here, don't move, hey, subtrong, like a poor subtrong in zero, but poor. And it's on hitting a shell will in one last subject of very more or only it's one can hook a simple future tense and it's a country then she had car point or die let the reason car simple tense hope but whom car comes out that we have finished the three simple tense simple present simple past and simple future let me sum up this one I thought now and some of the already can compare what are in fear Column, then we can see a lot. They can all be simple, present. You can say, hmm. okay. Simple, present as well, subject, plus first form the verb. And you can see a lot. This one, uh, negative sentence. Negative sentence in one one's one, do a more, does a more, one tell any. Then interrogative. So now, see how many wrong one, do or does a turn to any. Begins with okay. the simple pass. Simple pass. A form of a subject plus a character. Some second form of the verb. Here it has to be us. So, a character. Some negative sentences. You know, some did. Question is, you know, from did to. Now here, simple future. Formula subject plus will or shall okay, this is the one and question can see negative don't so will or more shall or more not can do oh. Okay, interrogative. Will, shall, plus subject. And subject.
Okay. Subject. Plus, okay, first one we were just like this. Okay. Just a brief sum up. I think we are on the exam, so we're going to have to share the internet. Simple present tense, I think we are called down, so we're going to have to share the internet. Negative, we're going to have to share the internet. 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 Do a model as a subject as a come from my way to any. I'm a lot of simple past tense. You can then let's work in a hand down on the two second form on it. Don't worry. A subject is all come. Uh, well, a second form come on to Rania. Then negative of a top door in did money. Yeah, not on your lunch. We saw one. I've got long to a car first form of the verb. How Tian and Bob Taylor. Verb must have been a car or let to run. The car she bought a lot into the post work. Zora can see a bone in detail in general plus subject and area. So I'm a verb alone to report her first form of the verb. Well, of course, a verb and bone to run in. You can't hear me. Did she go? She went. I need to take all of it. Did she go? I'm a car riding. Okay, right. Cars on car. Simple tense. That's what I take. You see that?